Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week I wanted to cover a topic quickly about short codes in Divi 5. I'm seeing a lot of confusion and some misunderstanding about this and I'm getting questions about it and I just want to clear it up here quickly so you can understand what's happening with short codes in Divi 5. If you prefer to read, I'll have a blog post linked down below. So you hear this term, short codes are going away. That may sound really confusing or scary or whatever, but let's, let's sort of focus in and understand exactly what's happening. So that's a misunderstanding. The Divi Builder itself in Divi 4 is based on short codes. That means, you know, when you are working in the Divi Builder and then you, you save, you know, all those settings and, you know, configurations that you have, you exit the page, a short code is actually displaying all that content and the styling that you've adjusted. So you may have seen this already. If you were to go and switch to another theme, like maybe a default WordPress theme, or in a situation where you had a third party plugin that the module and you deactivated that, you may freak out because you're like, you see these brackets and this code where you were expecting to see your content and your design. That's because the short codes are left behind on the page and the actual code that's running it in the Divi theme or in the plugin have been deactivated in that case. So that just is showing to you that, hey, this is using short codes. That's the way the Divi theme and the Divi builder and third-party Divi modules, that's how they all worked in Divi 4. That's what's changing. On the other hand, you have, you know, WordPress custom code, you have form plugins, you have sliders, you have all these different plugins that may use a short code to display content or some kind of functionality, maybe an app, whatever it is on the page, that's, you know, you're using a short code to do that. Those are not going away. Like Divi's not going to strip them out or anything. The misunderstanding has come because of, you know, people say, you know, short codes are going away in Divi 5. And, and it's true within the context of the Divi builder. WordPress, you know, uses short codes as a core feature. So it's not going to change. Like Divi's not going to change that. Uh, that wouldn't make any sense. So I just wanted to clear that up. And, I, you know, I felt it was worth because I'm literally getting people asking me a lot about this. And I'm seeing like so many comments about this online. And I just felt it was something worth clearing up. And there's a couple related questions you may have. So what about, you know, what's happening? Well, I won't get into that too much in this video, but basically instead of the short code method, like having, you know, the builder based on the short codes, that's going to be based on blocks instead. So it's, it's aligning with WordPress and the future of WordPress and the actual like backend architecture of the code is going to be different. And so it no longer will need to use the short codes on existing sites that we're using Divi for, you know, something, there is a migrator that will actually transition you from the shortcode based builder over to uh, the block based builder. And so it's going to handle that process for you. Um, that's going to, you know, be worked out in the public alpha and the public beta. And then as far as like a new site, like a brand new site, if you were to download the Divi public alpha or the beta or whenever it's actually released and you, you, you installed it and you wanted to make a brand new site, you won't ever have to worry about it. You won't have to migrate anything because it will simply be using the new system. That's the best case scenario, actually, because you'll just have that fresh start. Um, so anyway, wanted to cover that. Another thing that is really relevant, like super relevant to a lot of us, I mean, to me it is, and I know it's going to be to a lot of people. When you're using Divi library layouts, nesting them into other modules, like a tab module or an accordion or just displaying the layout or a section or whatever somewhere like nested within another Divi module or on the page. That's a big question, right? So what's going to happen with that? Well, I want to use my plugin Divi Assistant as the example here. So in Divi Assistant and other plugins have this, there's free plugins. I think one is called Simple Divi Shortcodes. 
Um, anyway, if you're using Divi Assistant, we built it in for the convenience. Um, that setting over in the Utility Helper in the, in the Divi Library tab right here, use Divi Library Layouts anywhere with shortcodes. And then, you know, the description explains if you want to have Divi Library Layouts nested in another module or display them, this enables that. And then when you go to the Divi Library, you'll see here like this layout that I have, it has a uh, Divi Library shortcode created. So you can click on copy there and that will copy this shortcode, which you can then go place, you know, in your tab module or wherever on the page, right? And it's going to display this. So the question is, you know, obviously, what is going to happen to that in, in Divi 5? Well, the good news is nothing. It's going to continue to work. Well, at least for us, it will. Um, in Divi Assistant, what we're doing is the same thing as Divi is doing, and the same thing we're doing with all of our plugins, we're transitioning to that new system, right? So instead of, the short code will continue to work, you'll continue to do it like that, but the actual code of that Divi library layout, right, is going to be transitioned to the block. And so nothing will actually change. It's going to be all behind the scenes that changes. We will have to update some things, but it's going to be behind the scenes. So I hope that there clarifies that and um, gives some peace of mind because that's probably the most common use case. And of course, plugins, you know, um, contact form seven or, you know, fluent forms, whatever, like all of those kind of forms often will have a short code to add that form like to your layout. That will continue to work fine. You know, there's, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Short codes like that are not going away. It's just in the Divi Builder. So I hope that does clear that up. Um, I wanted to just make this kind of like a public service announcement. Don't worry, you know, it's, it's going to be fine. It's just the builder. You won't even need to really think about it. As far as Divi 5, I just did the guide on responsive editing in Divi 5. That one's a really good one because it is a big change. And then I have this other one so far on the interface. So at this point, just let me know what other Divi 5 related tutorials you want to see, or if there's any like big questions like this that you want covered, just let me know and I'll be happy to take a look at that. And yeah, I like to keep everyone updated, especially um, keeping everyone from panicking or spreading, you know, just misinformation, just, you know, not on purpose, but I know it was confusing hearing that short codes are going away. So hopefully this clears it up. And yeah, if you enjoy this kind of content, keeping up on Divi 5 and of course all my hundreds I think four or five hundred different Divi tutorials. You can subscribe and you'll get notified each week when we have a new one. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.